Good morning, once again, our brothers and sisters. How is everybody? How is the life? Thank God for God that gives us life. Make it possible for us to see another day today. Father, we thank you, Jesus. Bless your holy Father. And then, my Jesus. Brothers and sisters, we're going to sing some praises to our Lord this morning. Let us sing a uh, song that just came to me. Let's start with uh, 37. As the day pants for the water. Thank you, Jesus. One to go. As I did thank for the water, so my soul longs after you. You are Lord and my heart desires in the Lord. Worship you. You are Lord, and my heart went my feet. To you alone, may my spirit yield. You are Lord, and my heart desire. To worship you, I want you more than gold or silver. Only you can satisfy. You are the adherent, your giver and the heart. Of all my eyes, you are the of my strength, my shield. To you alone, may my spirit yield. You are the of my heart, desire. You are my friend, and you are my brother, even though you are a king. I love you more than me, me other so much more than anything. You To you alone, may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart, desire and alone to worship you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us also sing blessed assurance. Jesus is mine, 59. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Worship is blood. 
This is my story. This is my soul. Praise ye, my Savior, all the day long. This is my story. This is my soul. See my Free from above, in course of mercy, with price of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Say my Savior, oh, that I belong. Perfect submission, or oh, it's at rest. I am my Savior. I'm happy and blessed, watching the waiting, looking above. Here it is, goodness, lost in his love. This is my story. This is my song. Praise my Savior, all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praise my Savior, all the day long. Amen. Let us sing 506, O oh Lord my God. When I am also wonder, want to go. Oh Lord, my God, when I am also wonder, consider all the works that hands has made. I see the stars. I hear the mighty thunder, the patrol of the universe is plain. Then say, my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And say, my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When through the world, a forest land I wander, I hear the death sing sweetly in thy trees. When I look down from lofty, mighty grandeur, I hear the brook, I feel the gentle breeze. Then say, my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then say, my soul, my Savior, go to thee. 
How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his son or spirit, say him to that, I still can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bleed and died to take away my sin. Then say, my soul, my Savior, go unto thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then say, my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come, we shout of acclamation. I take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. Then shall I bow in humble adoration. And they proclaim, my God, how great thou art. Then say, my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then say, my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, you are the God, you are the reason why we are living, Lord. Father, we thought you we are nobody. We bless you this morning. Jesus, accept our thanksgiving offering to the Lord in the might of Jesus. Accept our worship, Father, in the might of Jesus. Accept our praise in the might of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I will find every plan of the enemy working against us today that have been assigned. Today being the 12th day, every power that the enemy have assigned against us today, we command those enemy to bow right now in the name of Jesus. We disconnect ourselves from those circle of traditions. We bind every plan. Those powers that are saying, oh, this is how we have been doing it before. I want to walk against us. Father Lord Jesus, we disconnect ourselves from there in the might of Jesus. We bless you, Father, because you have done it. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Our brothers and sisters, good morning once again. We're going straight to the book of First uh, Peter chapter 3. We are going to use from verse 13 to 22. First Peter chapter three. Please follow us, please. First Peter chapter three, verse thirteen. Yes. And who is he who will harm you if you become a follower of what is the good? Hmm. But okay. even if you should suffer. For righteousness, say yes. you are blessed. Amen. And do not be afraid of the trade. Thank you, Jesus. No, be troubled. Yes. But satisfy the Lord God yes. in your heart. Amen. And always be ready yes. to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for hope that is in you. Yes. With meekness and the fear. Amen. Having a good conscience, Amen. that when they defile you as evil doers, those who revile your good conduct in the class may be ashamed. Amen. For it is better if it is the will of God to suffer for doing good yes. than for doing evil. That's hmm. for today. Okay. For Christ also suffered once for sin, for just a fool, then just a fool and just. 
that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit, by whom also he went and the priest to the Spirit in prison. Yes. Whom from the, who formerly were disobedient, yes. when was the divine long suffering mm. wanted in the days of Noah, yes. while the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is eight so, were set through water. Mm. There is also an archetype which now serve us, hmm. but 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 is not the removal of a flesh of a fifth of flesh, but the answer of good conscience hmm. toward God Amen. through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, yes. who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God. Man. Angels and authorities and the powers having been made subject to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. Um, the topic is conduct in suffering. Conduct in suffering. You may be suffering for one thing, pursue one thing in life, but you know you are doing the right thing, but that thing is not forthcoming. It can be a child, it can be husband, it can be job, it can be wife, it can be behavior of children, conduct in suffering. It can be even a career. You are putting your effort to make sure that that education, you do it right. You sit for the exam, but it's not forthcoming. The enemy have come to sow a seed of discount into the family. It can be even be sickness, conduct in suffering. Verse 13, he said, and who is there to harm you if you prove zealous? for what is good. Nobody. They will try, but they cannot succeed. Let's see what Proverbs chapter 16, verse 7 said. He said, when a man's way, please, when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemy to be at peace with him. When your way please the Lord, what you are doing, please God. Every, your character, when it please God, it will make your enemy to be at peace with you because there is no way they can harm you because you have the supernatural uh, covering. The fathers of fathers, the God that created you, created me. He cover you up, he protect you up. Who is there to, to harm you? Nobody. As they are trying, they, they did succeed, they will later become your enemy. That's what happened to Isaac, the book of uh, Genesis chapter 26. And Isaac will dig a well. Then the enemy will come and say, oh, there's water here. This is our well. They will take it. He dug well in about three or four places. They took it from him. But as they do it, it he refused to fight them. He will move out and go to another place because that land that he was, was not his land. But God said, stay in this land. Don't go out to Egypt. Like, don't be, I don't want you to be a stranger in Egypt like your father, stay in this very land. So that very day, when he sow seed, what happened? He reaped a hundred food harvest. God is still doing it for us today, my brother, my sisters. God is still there helping us out from what the enemy planned. 
So after everything, what happened? The enemy came to him because they now look at it and say, oh, what this man said, or what we heard about him and the father and the family, it is really true. It's only God that can be with somebody like this that even in a dry land, he bring out water. Even in a dry land, he sows seed. The day, the day he starts sowing seed, that is the, rain, the day a rain of blessing will fall upon that seed. They now say, no, we have to make, um, uh, make a change our ways. We have to make a U-turn. The mind that we have against Isaac before, we now have to, I mean, we have to change. That will not help. They now went to him and said, okay, now we know that God is with you. Not that your enemy, my brother, my sister, not that your enemy did not know that God is with you. Not that they did not know that you are serving a living God, but they just want to frustrate your, your effort to make sure that you distract, I mean, or they distract you from that very uh, good thing that you want to do or you are doing. They want you to change your mind. But when you stay fast, when you stay in it, enjoy the suffering. That is what this very verse that we have read now, even the proverb that I used to make reference, give to us. See, when you stay in it, when your ways please God, please the Lord, what will happen? Your enemy. Our enemy are in our home. Started from our home. Then to our place of work or to the environment, to the neighbors. Hallelujah. He said, but even if you should suffer for the sake of righteousness, you shall, I'm sorry, you are blessed and do not fear their intimidation and do not be troubled. Hallelujah. Do not be troubled. That pain may be in that very body. The pain may be in the, in the heart. That, oh, you are trying to do something good. Have you seen somebody that you send, have you experienced it? You send money to, to your brother or your sister, like we that are in abroad. You send money to somebody in Africa. Use this to pay your, your children's school fees or use it to eat. Or this is a festive period. I want you to also enjoy. What will the man or the woman do? Some of them, they will take that money to voodoo people. and say, look at, look at uh, what uh, this person, Sister A is doing, or Sister B, or Z. Look at what he or she is doing. He now feel that uh, he can give me money. Let me use that money to do something bad against that person. I pray that anybody that you have fed and they are, they, they, they are using that money to work against you, God is going to punish them in the mighty name of Jesus. Anybody that you have good intention for and they are pressing you, they want to suppress you and your children. They want to reduce you. They want to scatter your destiny. God will not leave them alone. God is going to judge them wherever they may be in the mighty name of Jesus. So there are many family like that. There are many people like that. We have, I have watched a film. A sister came, he, he, he went to, the brother said, oh, I need a car. He was expecting the sister to send money for, for, for him to buy a car in Africa. But at the end, the sister just saw a car and said, oh, my brother will like this one. He bought a car. The, sister, the brother, was now angry. The day he was even swearing for that sister, he didn't know that the sister was even around. He, 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 he visited home. As he was just doing it, the sister was just there listening. So what I want to use to better your life, you are now using it. There are many people like that. My brother, my sister. He said we shouldn't be. He said we are blessed. If we, are, if, if we suffer or if we are being intimidated, this is a very good assurance for us this morning. That is the more reason why 
you have to root yourself very deeply into the in, into the Lord. We have to root ourselves. We have to start firm. We have to allow those those uh, 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 agent of darkness to see the light of God in, it, in us. Because when they also saw it, when they see that see that light in us, they will come back to Christ themselves, as they did to 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 Isaac. He said, "But certify Christ, but certify Christ as Lord in your heart." always being ready to make a defense to everyone who asks you to give an account for the hope that is in you, yet with gentleness and reference. We have to certify Christ first because he's our Lord and personal savior. We don't need to put our hand here, put our leg here because of fear. Those enemies, they will make you to fear. That is why the Bible described them that they are roaring lions. What will lion, lion do? When lion see his prey, even if the lion is inside the cage, it will make, ah, we make that person to fear, threaten that person. That is what that, uh, those, our, our enemy, they are under our foot in Jesus' name. Amen. He said, and keep a good conscience so that in that thing in which you are slander, those who reference your good behavior in Christ may be put to shame. I have said it before. Look at, uh, look at Joseph himself, even David, even Daniel. There are many good examples. Daniel, they were, because of his character, the Bible said he was with an excellent spirit. He was, uh, was not uh, missing up. He was not cheating. He was not scamming people because of what he wants. He was with excellent spirit. But his enemy, the enemy around, they hated him for that. If they want to, he, he, he may, for example, they want to calculate money. They said uh, 10 pounds. They will, not, they will now say, oh, Daniel, let us turn it, turn it to 100 pounds. Daniel will say, no, I'm just giving you an example. What makes him to be an excellent spirit? That spirit is also in me, it's also in you. For you to reject that very bad conduct. God wants us to reject that very conduct this morning, my brother, my sister because there is nothing in it. The 19 pounds that they want to take, are they not going to use it? When they use it, is it not going to finish? Even most especially, they use it to buy food today. Go to McDonald's, go to uh, any snack bar. They use it to buy food. Then by the time they eat that food, the next hours, they take it to the toilet. Praise God. But the character of, of Daniel made them to be afraid of him, make him to, made them to say, oh, let us gang up against this man. He's a foreigner, but look at the way he's behaving. We the citizen, he doesn't want us to enjoy, and they want to put him in power. Oh my God, Jesus, thank you for this sermon this morning. There are many things that God wants to use to bless us. You may be looking for that thing, looking for something that uh, you, you, you are trying to, uh, uh, to acquire. But God will tell you, no, this, I am giving you the best. You just be patient. Hallelujah. The patient, uh, patient uh, dog, according to the word, it says patient dog eats the fattest bone. When you are patient, you will enjoy the make of the land. Hallelujah. 17, he said, for it is better if God should will it so that you suffer for, be, for doing what is right rather than 
for doing what is wrong. It is better for you to suffer for what is right. We have seen many people, in some cases, might have hope happened to you or happened to me. You will say, they will say, oh, you do this thing. They will say, no, I did not do it. But at the end of it, they try to prove themselves. On the final note, even there are many people that have been in prison before. How can somebody be in prison for 37 years? I have seen it on TV. I think sometime last year or early this year, they released the man. For 37 years, this man was in prison. He said, but the only hope that he had was God. That God, one day God will surely vindicate him. God will prove him right. And that's exactly what happened. God did not allow him to commit to suicide for that truth not to be revealed. Because he trusted God. Praise God. Because he knew that God will be his defender. They say he, he killed somebody. He said, no, I am not the one that killed that very woman that you are talking of or that man you are talking of. I did not do it. I may be a bad person as I did, but I did not do that thing. That was what the man was saying. For 37 years, he was in prison. What type of prison has the enemy kept you? That the truth has not still revealed. You are still waiting for that truth to be revealed but it's not here yet. And they are still doing many things to make sure that you are being punished or the punishment they give to you is harder than what they think. My brother, my sister, today's message, the topic is conduct in suffering. First Peter chapter three, from 13 to 22. When you are suffering for anything good, he said, you shouldn't be ashamed. Don't look at, don't bring yourself down. Don't think that God is not there. Look at Lazarus and the rich man. Hallelujah. Verse 18. He said, For Christ also died for sins, for sins, once for all, the just for the unjust, in order that he might bring us to God, having, sorry, having been put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. Hallelujah. You see, Christ suffered for us because of our sin. He was not the one that committed our sin. We will have been using this to make many examples since. There are some, fam I, I said before that, there are some children in the family. One of them is always bad, but the other one is not, is not bad. But because you want to punish or you always punish the one that is bad, that is always doing wrong thing, then the one that is not doing wrong thing can one day and say, oh, daddy or mommy, he's not the one that do it this time. I am the one that do, did it. Because that person know that you are not going to punish him because you haven't seen that kind of conduct before. Later, he, he or she can also come to you and say, really, uh, mommy or daddy, because I don't want you to beat him. I feel pain when you are beating that very, or when you are punishing him or her. That's exactly what Christ did for us. He came to take that pain from us, for us not to suffer. That is why he came to die for us, to share his blood, so that he can use that to reconcile us to God. That, Daddy, please leave these people alone. Let me take this pain. Hallelujah. So conduct in suffering. He said, in which, verse 19, in which also he went, he went and made, um, Proclamation, he went and made proclamation to the spirit now in prison. He went to her fire. Hallelujah. When he died, he went to her fire to tell the demon. I mean, that 
that Lucifer that is, I mean, he is the, the, the king of kings. He has power more than any being at all. He went to the prison to set the captive free. Hallelujah. Verse 20, he said, who once were disobedient, disobedient when the patient when the patience of God kept waiting in the days of Noah during the destruction of the, sorry, during the construction of the ark in which a few, that is eight persons, we are brought safely through the water. Hallelujah. What makes somebody to, to be punished is because of dis disobedience. What made that man or that woman to go to prison because of disobedience, because of stubbornness. Jesus Christ did everything for us. Even in the time of Noah, Noah was preaching. The day is coming. This is what is going to happen. God is going to use water to destroy everywhere, to destroy the earth. Look at fire everywhere right now. But we are, people are sending, uh, 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 the uh, fire brigade also, firefighters to help, but none of the government have declared and say, let us, uh, let us pray. This is not real. It's happening here, it's happening there, it's happening in other places. Not more than one, sorry, not, more than, not even one. Some places they will say, oh, it's 800 places that are born. It's also so and so that have born. And look at water. Water is taking one place. Water is in the north. Fire is in the south. Or fire is in the south. Water is in the north. Nobody has said, oh, let us declare a day of prayer for these things that is happening. They are still trying to prove their power. I say we can do it right. My brother, my sisters, when we are suffering, we should know that God is in it. Amen. Verse 21. He said, For, uh, sorry, uh, verse 21. And corresponding to that, baptism now saves you, not the, not the remover of, of dirty uh, from the flesh, but an appeal to God for a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. When we baptize, we die in Christ. And when we come up again, we resurrect in him, like him. Hallelujah. That is the more reason we are not supposed to go back to our vomit again. You see dog, dog vomit like this, it can go back to it and eat up everything again. My brother, my sister, that will not be our portion. It will not be the portion of our children. In Jesus' name. Amen. Conduct in suffering. You might have taken decisions that you are not supposed to be taking. But when you now look at it and say, oh, what I'm doing now is not right. And you came back, you return back to Christ. God will still accept you back. The prodigal son did that. Did that. The father received him back. That is also in the position. That is also the position our Lord Jesus Christ is. If we lose, if, if we lose the rope or we cut off the rope and go out for him and say, oh, I don't want to serve him again. By the time we now realize again, I say, there is nothing really that is in the world. And we return back to him. He will also accept us. Even that day, we even make a banquet for us, make party for us. The angels will be happy. Even a soul that is being won, we also need to be doing evangelism. A soul that is being won, the angels rejoice in heaven. The last verse, 22, it says, Who is at the right hand of God, having gone into heaven after angel and authority and power have been subjected to him? In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. That is how I know it to be, even in my Bible. We also sang it in a song. 
or even a head. Nobody may anywhere you measure the name of Jesus, no matter the type of demon that is there, they will surely free. Even if that man is not a is not yet a born again, if you measure that name of Jesus, every other demon that is around, they will bow. They will say, Oh, this man has changed. Are you now a rebellion child? Praise God. So when we are suffering in anything that is good, we should know that God is supporting us. We shouldn't do bad. We should, should let our children, tell our children, tell our followers, like those that are the, like the ministers, let's tell our followers that doing bad is not a good thing. It can lead, that is what leads people to hell fire. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. So we're going to pray some few prayers. Let the Spirit of the Lord touch us this morning to be doing good. Continue to say that to your, to your, to, to your spirit. Say, Lord, let your spirit touch me. The Spirit to, to, to endure suffering. Let that Spirit touch me, Lord. Father, give us the power to endure, Lord. Give us the power to be patient in you. Because when we are patient, things will be going the way it's supposed to go. Enemy will be throwing arrow. Don't, 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 don't mind them. Because they are under your feet already. They are jealous and they are greedy of, of, of what is happening. They are envying you. Father Lord Jesus, give us the power to be patient, O oh Lord. Make me to be patient in every department of my life, whatever that is happening. Because there is nothing in this world, Lord. Father, make me to, to pass through this suffering, whatever suffering it may be. Father, I commit those family under the sound of my voice right now. Commit everyone into your able hand. Give them the power and the encouragement to pass through whatever suffering they are suffering, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give them the power. Even the children, the enemy are waging war against the children because they want to take them away. Father, don't let it happen. That child, you have sold a good seed into the life of that child. Father, don't let what the enemy are planning, don't let it happen to those children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let it happen. In the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. It's only God that can set somebody free. When the enemy have locked somebody up, according to what we heard, he said he went to the prison to set the captive free. Let us now pray this morning and say, Lord, in anywhere I have been tied down, Father, set me free, O oh Lord. Lose me in the name of Jesus. Any case that the enemy have caged me, Father, break that cage now. As you have went to the prison to set the captive free, Father, set me free in every department of my life. As I'm following you, as I'm obeying you, Father, set us free, Lord. Let us now pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In every department of our life, Lord, wherever we have been locked up, you can be locked up with your, with, with your head. Thereby, sickness is there. Disappointment is there. The world they call failure is there. It's not for you in Jesus' name. Ask God right now to set you free, to set your business free, to set your household free, to set your children free in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, set us free, O oh Lord. As you have set the captive free, those that are kept in prison, you set them free. Father, anywhere we have been set free, O oh Lord, or anywhere we have been kept captive, Jesus set us free this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, set us free, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, set us free in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, set us free in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The book of now who said, affliction will not come to us the second time. Let us now pray and say, Lord, every, anywhere I have been afflicted, anywhere I have been, I have been tied, anywhere I have been tied down, where God that suffering is, Father, put an end to the oppression of that suffering in my life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us now continue to pray. Oh Lord God, put an end because you said, oh Lord, affliction will not come to me the second time. What repeated, I mean, what happened to me, the bad thing that happened or the enemy did to me last, last year or yesterday or 20 years ago, Father, 
Don't let it happen to me and my children again in the mighty name of Jesus. Every bad thing that the enemy have done, oh Lord, Father Lord Jesus, don't let it happen to us again. Don't let it happen to me again in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at this coronavirus. The enemy have set it up to, dis to destroy people's life. Father, don't let it happen again. From today, oh Lord, put an end to this sickness. Put an end to the work of the enemy in our life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, put an end to, to the work of the enemy, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, put an end to the work of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, put an end to it in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Whatever we have in this life, my brother, my sisters, is not going to follow us to anywhere. Even as small as this resource, even if they put it on a dead man, <laughs> the, the people that did it, they are just, I don't know what to even tell them. Praise God. They, you put shoe on that very person that is already dead. We are seeing people that have been buried like that. We are only just trying to decorate that very person. It's not following us anywhere. But the only thing that will follow us is after we die, we resurrect with Christ. We reign with Christ. We sit with him. We see his face that day. We are not being taken to hell fire. Let us now pray and say, Lord, give me the power to reign with you, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, give me the power and the authority to reign with you, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. The power to subdue the death. Father, give it to me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. The power to pass through the pain of that death. Because the second death is what matters. Not that you are not going to die physically. Father Lord Jesus, give me the power. Let me resurrect with you, O Lord, as you resurrected, Father Lord Jesus. So that when you come that day, you raise that alarm for me to resurrect, I will be able to reign with you, O Lord, in heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I don't want to suffer in life here and also suffer in hellfire, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, give us the power to reign with you, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for our brothers and sisters. There are some of them that have lost their loved one. Let us pray for God to, for God to comfort them and for God to comfort the family as we are sympathizing with them. Because the Bible said, if we rejoice, I'm sorry, say we should rejoice with anyone that is rejoicing. Also mourn with the, the one that are mourning. Let us now pray for them that God uphold our family, provide everything that they need to, 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 to do that very ceremony for their loved one, either their father, their mother, or even their, their brother or sister, even friends. Let us now continue to pray. Lord Jesus, we commit any of our brothers and sisters, oh Lord, even friends that have lost their loved one, oh Lord. Father, we sympathize with them. Comfort them, oh Lord they and their siblings and their family in the mighty name of Jesus. Make a way for them. Whatever they want, want to do for their, lo their loved one, their person, Father, give them the power and the ability, the strength, the money to do it, O oh Lord. Father, Lord Jesus, give it to them in the mighty name of Jesus. And even that money for them to use it very wisely in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you, Father. I worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We just have to pray one or two other prayer. Let us now continue to soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus because what we have said today, let it deep, I mean, go deep into our, our inner bowl. This is the word we should be remembering that the conduct in suffering, it should not be a wasted effort. Father, Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, we soak ourselves in your blood today, oh Lord. I soak everyone in your mighty blood, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, O Lord, everything that we are passing through. Father, we hand it over to you. You are, you are the God that gives us strength. You are the God that is controlling us. Father, take absolute control of everything around us. Take control of those children, O Lord, that the enemy are playing game with. Father, Lord Jesus, let that game expire today in the mighty name of Jesus. When people are playing football on that very field, after 90 minutes, it will not exceed. Even if it exceed, it will not be more than two, one, that very day or that very period that have been described to play that football. 
So also those enemies that are playing game with our children, we put an end to it today. Father, we give them right record to leave our children alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, put an end to that very oppression that the enemy are doing to our children. Thereby we soak them in your blood, O Lord. Soak all our families, soak our, even those that have traveled, we soak them in your blood. Whatever they are going to eat over there, O Lord, Father, Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, Father, we sanctify it with your mighty blood. We will not hear bad news about those that have traveled in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God richly bless you. God bless me too. God bless our home. God bless everyone around you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Jesus.